What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to do a... Oh, I'm not going to... We're not using this. We're not using this nonsense. Wow, this is what I love about Magic Online. Like, you can just put your card number in right here. You can just be like, here's my... Here's my credit card information. Uh, we are not going to do that, though. Wow, we don't have any boosters? We don't have... Do we have not play... We don't have play points or boosters? Good lord, man. Wait. When you go 2-1 in this, you only get 100 play points, right? So you actually don't... Do you actually not break even? Because I thought you would... Like, I always thought 2-1 in a draft would break even, right? So if you get 2-1... You don't get any play points, I guess. Okay, well. I guess you just get two packs. So you really want to go 3-0 or else you're like... You're up shit creek. However, 25 event tickets for a draft is a little high. Let's see how much the boosters cost by themselves. I want to be a boat. I want to learn to swim. I feel really washed out, but I can't tell if it's the monitor or not. It's making me really disappointed. Booster draft. Go booster bot? I don't know what that is actually. I want to go to goat bot boosters. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. My goat boys. It's your goat boy. Whatever that means. Thank you. Illusions donate. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. 27 month Jesus. That's uh that's the name of my my 80s synthwave band. 27 month Jesus. Where would they be? Are, are these alphabetical order? Shadow Moor Scourge looks like it. Odyssey Modern Modern Horizons. 6 tickets. Shit. 6 12 18. So that's 18 plus the 4 for entry, right? So was that 22? I mean, it's still a three ticket savings, but crying out loud, man. Oh, wait, nobody do Phantom. What am I doing? What a, what an idiot. Oh my god, I've been wasting all this time. We're just going to do Phantom, right? Why am I doing all this? I was like, wait a minute, why didn't, why aren't there play points? Wow, I am off, I am off my game, guys. I am off my game. Do I even like, alright, I'm just going to leave it in. You guys can see this. You guys can witness this, this, sh this Phantom shame. Alright, let's get 100 play points. Jeez, thank you. That's perfect. That's all we wanted. Bring this guy right over here. Lock it into place. And let's get her done. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Bob. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hi, Bob. Thank you. You, Bob. We're all, we're all bobbing, really. William, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome. It might be the... Let's see how the black levels look. Oh, I do like that better. I like this black level a lot higher. Yeah, I just put the, the black equalizer all the way up, and I, I'm personally a bigger fan of it. And now I kind of want to lower my own saturation. Oh boy, I'm looking real red now. That seems better. I don't know. I guess I'm going to look different on all the different monitors that exist in the world. That's just my life. That's the uh, that's the cost of streaming on the internet. You look different on all the monitors. What is going on, LaFoaf? Kadeen? I also, whenever I get a new monitor, I Google the, uh, I'm like, Google best settings. And I'm going to do that again right now, just to make sure, see if it's updated. All right, so what do we got here? Frost Walla is very, very good. Urza's Rage, pretty, pretty solid. 
Like, the odds of you kicking this for 12 mana in limited is pretty rough. Uh, you know, Savage Swipe also very, very good. You look really tiny on my... Well, you know, that's life. Life is just looking tiny on monitors, I guess. It's either Urza's Rage or Frostwall, I think. Like, even if you don't kick this, it's still 3 damage at instant speed. And it can't be countered. Uh, I definitely don't think Defile is best. I think Defile is very good. Uh, I think Frostwall is insanely strong. I want to take the Frostwall. And we're just going to hope for some... Uh, some some snow synergies snow energies if you will are there any red cards that actually take advantage of snowlands i think phantom ninja is pretty good i don't consider this guy flame tongue kavu by any means two damage is not is not the same as four damage for for four mana two damage for six mana is n not the same as But, I mean, you could probably get a get a dude in your graveyard. Okay, it's supposed to be small then because it is a phone and not a full-size computer monitor. Wow, that's... Wow, that's amazing. I'll take the Phantom Ninja. I think the Phantom Ninja is probably the best pick here. In a vacuum. Well, Magmatic Sinkhole. And Pyrophobia. Wow, this is a lot of red cards that are very, very good. Good lord. It's also Winter's Rest, which I don't mind. Jeez. I mean, I think it's Sinkhole. I think Sinkhole's probably better than Pyrophobia. And then Thundering Gin is just also great. God, do I just want to stay clear of red in this pack, though? Because, like, this is going to set two other people into red. And we could easily just take Winter's Rest, which is controversial, but I think it's probably better for our deck. <sighs> this pack is pretty bad. Could be Defile. We could just be blue-black. Let's try to... Let's see what blue-black leaves us with. Pondering Mage. Wow, this is the second... Uh, are these Black Lotuses? We're definitely highlighting this, but I really want to see if those are Lotuses. They look like Black Lotuses, which is, actually makes this art fantastic. Those definitely look like Black Lotuses to me. Which is pretty sick. I mean, these chiller pillars are just great. Ideally, we'll get some snow lands, but... Yeah, despite the fact that it's also Seb McKinnon... Um, that makes me want that art even more. Seb McKinnon's art's insane recently. Probably always, but recently is in like, I've recently noticed Seb McKinnon's art. I think this is good if we are planning on getting ninjas, but I think also Venomous Changeling is just probably better. Put this guy in the sideboard for now. Oh, nothing nothing is better than Reign of Revelation here. This card is so bonkers. Drawing three and discarding one for the, the low price of four mana is pretty crazy. Also, I've been having, like, stream anxiety where I'm not sure where I even... I'm not sure when I start the stream if I know what I want to play. Um, Modern Horizon still seems pretty fun and interesting, but I feel like we've been doing a lot of drafting and not a lot of constructed. And I do have constructed decks. Uh, the Defile came back, so that's pretty sweet. Rebuild is pr basically a blank. I do like Solomgar Scavenger, though. This guy seems good. I mean, he is good. I mean, he seems good in this pack. That's what I'm saying here. Uh, 
Uh, I'll take this Frostwalk Bastion. It's an ice. It's a snow land for this guy. So then, if we just happen to pick up the uh, the basics, then we can just add it in. Uh, all right. So we're getting to a point where we're probably gonna lose a bunch of picks. Not really sure I'm in the mood for it today, but all right. The next pack is going to be three cards. And I didn't even get to see it. Can you get, Can someone clip that for me, please, so I can actually submit that to Wizards? Because I really don't feel like not getting the last three picks of my pack. Yep, I didn't even get to see that one. Can someone Can someone clip these three? Yep, you know, they, like the pack doesn't even show up. It's it's pretty unbelievable. I think it's Grave Shifter over Mob. Maybe. This is a very this is a tough pick. Especially because we have return from extinction. I'm gonna take the Grave Shifter because it's uncommon. But and we also have two defiles and a winter's rust, so I'm not like super dependent on uh, removal right now. Yeah, it's definitely a bug. It's been it's been going on for a while now. It's been going on for way too long. It's been at least two weeks that it's been doing this. It's been doing it since the Vintage Cube was around. And it's just, that's that's way too long for this for, the, for you to not get picks in your pack. <clears throat> uh, is it just Snow Island? I don't, it's not, Rebuild is not an option in Limited. I don't know if it's a second Phantom Ninja. I don't think it's, it's, it's I don't think we want a third Defile here. It's either Phantom Ninja or, or, or Snow Covered Island. I think we want the Island here, though. Nether Spirit? Nah, yeah, you're pretty bad. Nah, yeah, you're not great either. Ransack the Lab, you're not great either. I'm sorry, all these cards. I don't think it's just Crypt Rats here. Crypt Rats is a pretty powerful wizard. Prismatic Vista. That's pretty cool. Each sliver has Unearth. I think this pack is unexciting enough that I can just take the Snow Covered Island. Urchai, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm pretty sure they know about it, but like I, I'm gonna, I, I like to submit like the next pack is gonna be three cards, evidence, uh, <laughs> when I submit a claim, <laughs> so that they're not like, well, you, you, can you name the game and show us where it happened? I'm like, sure, 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 I could do that. I think birthing bows is actually pretty good. Uh, we'll definitely take this first sphere gargantuan. These picks have been pretty. Pretty dry. Picks. Draft again. Hmm. I remember someone was giving us a hard time about playing this in our two-color deck, and I was just like, it's totally fine. Smoke Shroud, also decent. Where are all the ninjas? I feel like there's no ninjas that we're getting. I mean, this is just better than Umazawa's, Umazawa's Charm. Umazawa's... Is it called Umazawa's Charm? And it's better than uh, the other thing that was in. It is Umazawa's Charm. Look at that. Yeah, I'll take six drops at cycles. Sure. I just tagged you in a tweet. Well, let me go check Twitter. Also, you may notice, like, my head's in all different places now. Oh my god. I hope it makes you smile, he says, and it's a Twitter it's a it's a it's a it's a link to like oh another chiller pillar. It's a link to some storm deck in 
or it's just some storm deck in Legacy, and I'm just like, cool. Yeah, I'll just take second rise, I guess. I don't think we're playing it, but. Our two drop slot could use some work. But Frank, you passed a sliver that gave all your other slivers on Earth and it only cost two mana. That's true. I did do that, I guess. God, once we start getting to the like five card area, I get so anxious now. I'm like, oh god, how much time do I have? Like I have to mentally prepare myself for the cards to pop up so that I know like exactly when to like I gotta be like, okay, hold on. I gotta Like I feel like I'm playing a like a like a Vegas card game where I'm like, alright. That's the one. Oh, didn't didn't see any of those. Unfucking believe. God, it's so frustrating, man. Fix your stupid client. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's it's seriously frustrating. Like it's actual not reasonable. It's just so tilting. I'm just like trying to. Force of Despair could be good. Mana War is probably better than Force of Despair, maybe. So this, you just pay three mana on their turn, and you destroy all creatures under the battlefield. If they play two guys, you just kill it. Like, it's very restrictive. It's very much like there's a card... Uh, there was a card from, like, the Future Sight, blo the Time Spiral block, where it was like, if this card came into play this turn, destroy a target creature that entered the battlefield this turn or something. Uh, and that's very similar, except it's destroying all of them. But I'm not sure if Mana War is just not better actually mob is probably better right mob is actually probably better than force of despair in the situations you get two creatures with a force of despair like being able to get any creature is probably just better with mob right yeah i'm just gonna take the mob here uh my new mountain bike just got delivered now i get to watch you and put it all together fun times also, the cards not being able to be picked. I sent three in reverse cards yesterday as well. It's super frustrating. Yeah, that's... I mean, it's just like... I feel like I should just send one for every draft. And I don't know why I haven't. I think I just like... Oh, you know, I'm really understanding. And it's okay. It's totally fine. I get it. But I don't. Like, there's no reason for it. It's free drafts for them. It doesn't cost them anything to reimburse me. Whereas it is negatively affecting my experience. I think this is better than uh, a second Frostlock Bastion. Because you have Double Defile and an Archmage's Charm. So, our colored mana is... Uh, is pretty pretty intense our color mana requirements are pretty intense i would say i like prohibit here carrying feeder is cute but we don't really have a carrying car like there's i i want i want this ninja sub theme to be a lot better because i never actually see any friggin ninjas i'm like all right what do we got here we got one phantom ninja cool cool where are the other ones i don't i don't know i don't see any ninjas kaya's guile is interesting I was I don't I don't I don't think anything in that pack was super exciting. Eh, whatever, Heedless Specter is not exciting either, but uh Putrid Goblin or Unearth. Unearth actually seems probably better. No, not really. We probably just want the goblin. I don't know if I'd play two Dragscape Slivers. I would love love something to replace that with. Man, I was really hoping for some kind of sweet blue-black. Ten or more snow permanents. That's, like, never happening, right? I'm going to take it in, in case the last, like, f four cards are... Snow-covered swamp. All right, we're getting there. Snow-covered island. Okay, we're getting there. Frosted Bastion. All right, we're doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we could take this, but it's just not exciting. Whatever. I mean, that was. I think that pack was also. Uh... Oh, didn't even get a. Nope. All right, guess we're done. Yep, Gilded Light. Cool. Yep, 
awesome that was cool all right so i'm gonna go through and request reimbursement for all of the friggin drafts that have done this that's my task tonight this is a snow enchantment and we also have two chiller pillars <laughs> i don't think this is enough unfortunately That's a snow enchantment as well. So this is 13 snow permanents. We have to draw 10 out of 13. But you do get to scry one just from playing all these snow lands. It's actually not terrible. I think this is actually I think it's actually fine here. We're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Are we missing any other snow permanents that we could just toss in for funsies? This is a situation where the where the Archmage's charm might actually be a little greedy. And I actually don't hate this guy. I wish this guy was a snow scarecrow sitting here peeling 24 boiled eggs for egg salad tuna salad and plain salad that's a lot of boiled eggs I do like a good hard-boiled egg though I think heedless specter is just fine right like it's just a 2-2 two -two for it's a 2-2 two -two flyer for two for three which is pretty standard and limited but then you get like then you get like the, the discard I think we play the off-colored snow land now especially because we uh we took out the archmage's charm so we can actually Four, five, six. Mm. So this is so we're only getting fourteen colored lands. Five, six, seven, eight. So this is just this is seven, seven, which I think is probably fine. It makes the defile worse, but if you have two swamps, like they're just disfigures at that point. So I think that's fine. Let's make sure everything else is. Also, these chiller pillars are super easy to turn on here. Yeah, this actually seems fine. We could play the silent clearing. But it's just worse than, like, snow-covered plains in this deck. And it's also worse than, like, uh, snow-covered than, than swamp. So. Blazers. <sighs> All right, new note. Reimbursement for missed picks. Uh, league four. Four, five, five, six. And I think you have to just name one of the matches. So I'm just going to name the whatever match this might be. Oh, man. Like, it's just so... Okay, what is this? This is match... Doesn't say at the top anymore. Uh, usually it would say match number there. Are you serious? Yeah, I'll definitely keep this hand, but why doesn't it tell me the match number anymore? How do I know my match number now? Come on. You have to be joking. It would say the match number up at the top, right? Is this... What's even happening right now? Why is this not... Yeah, it definitely would say the match number. It would say match number, etc. And that would be the reference point for... Um, we're saving the snow-covered swamp because uh, if we do hit Merit Lays, we want to be able to scry, basically. So can I just submit a request without? No, I don't... I don't understand... My confusion is palpable right now. So if this guy dies, we get a 1-1. One, one. If this guy dies, they eventually get two two twos. That seems better. Guys, can we talk about the Mother Bear value? I had someone trolling me in a friendly, just just playfully trolling me in a, in the YouTube comments about how I 
I, I was I wouldn't stop talking about the mother bear mother bear value, which is true because it's pretty ridiculous. There's a lot of value. Uh, the named creature, which they always do. They got one ravenous giant. That's a one for one. Yeah, I'm just gonna block this. We don't really have any efficient way to get rid of it otherwise. And if they want to bring their their bears back, we can just crypt rats for forever. Oh, you like that? I was like, let's play the non snow covered land, and then we end up drawing a regular land and not even considering playing that instead. The one, um, look at that guy. Look at that fat idiot. You fat idiot. Well, we have one, two snow permanents right now, so we're almost, we're halfway to Merit Lage. I'm pretty sure we can just mob this guy. Or we can make a guy take five and... Got a lot of options here. Oh, congrats on winning your win a box. Winning your win a box. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of this guy. I'm going to make some bears. Oh, you're not going to make bears. Fascinating. Thank you. Taunus with the resub. How are you enjoying Moho? Uh, Moho's pretty all right so far. I wish I had a second blue source, but, you know, that's life. Life is not having a second blue source. Is that right? Is that true? We could defile this guy, but that's not going to do it. Taunus, so two-year anniversary is coming up, buddy. <laughs> Taunus is like, I'm going to show up out of the blue, and then I'm going to add a quote real quick. Wow, I'm so quotable. That's unbelievable. Ocean man. I'm going to block your guy. You've been, you just got defiled. Joke's on you, I have Elvish Fury, idiot. <laughs> you gonna come to Riot Fist? Ween is going, the, going to the whole Mollusk album? Wow, you're speaking my language right now, buddy. Yep, and they have it. Oh, God. The joke is on me. They did have it. Wow. Well, we still don't have a second blue source, although we have two cards with double blue in our hand, and that's pretty cool. And that's pretty cool. Ocean Man is on the Mollusk Cop. Yes, that that was I I assumed as much. Hence why uh, you mentioned it after I sang Ocean Man. That was a little uh, that was a little intuition that I used there to figure that one out. That was, uh, those are what's in the literary world. Those are what's known as context clues. Uh, no blocks. More like no covered islands, that's true. I'm gonna pump this guy, and you're gonna take four damage. Oh, they're not. That's great for us. Good for us. Uh, sure. Ah, oh, the old no blocks this turn. Seems good. Blue source. Oh, we did it. We're so good at this game. 
One, two, three, four, five. We get to keep one mana up, huh? Hey, one mana. One, two, three, four, five. You know what they say, get busy living or get busy pondering. Oh, do I want any of these? I mean, like, the problem is we're going to draw one. And then we're going to draw another with the Gargantua. I'm not necessarily on board for this, but... Is 5-4 good enough here? They have two cards. We have, like, three cards, and our board is pretty good. Do we want just, do we want just two more lands? I don't think so. I think we're going to any order it and shuffle. Yeah, that's obviously better. Ocean Man. All right, they have two cards. You know, one of them is an Elvish Fury. They have four cards. One of them is an Elvish Fury. Man, this escalated quickly. So next time we can play Crypt Rats, activate it for three, which is not the same as activating it for four. You guys heard it here first. Three is not the same as four. So either one of these can be a 6-6 six, six with Elvish Fury. It can also be an 8-8 eight, eight if they just want to get rid money. of the Elvish Fury, which is fine. on us <laughs> you're absolutely unbelievable my dude you are absolutely unbelievable thank you so much my man oh god Tonus has a real knack for making it super awkward to like well I was playing a game of magic and now it's like who cares wow that's a thing alright You know, guys, you guys know Dak Faden is the greatest thief in the multiverse? Taunus is, like, the most generous dude in the multiverse. Man, when, when that dude's Planeswalker spark ignites, you better watch out. Jesus. Taunus, thank you so much, man. I don't even... <laughs> keep playing. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's kind of a distraction. One, two... So they can only they can they can buy it back, but they still lose Shut this guy, right? One thirtieth of a ton. Of <laughs> oh, comic! Oh, uh, a little com Oh, that's oh, that's something, isn't it? Well, that's great for you. Uh, a little comical uh, aside, Kerwin actually has a package of Mio's being delivered from a Mio water enhancer is being delivered that he just picked up on like I don't know, probably Friday or something. Okay, so they're tapped out. If we can get one black source here, we could not. That is not a thing we did. And that is unfortunate, because now we can only do this for three. Actually, three is still pretty good. <sighs> is it good enough, though? Kerwa with the resub. That's that's another $5, so that's actually one sixtieth of a Tano's buck. So basically the same thing. Oh, man. Tano's, you are unbelievable, dude. Like, we get rid of both of these, but then we take two. And then we take two more and four more. So we actually take one, two, three, four, five, six. We take eight and go to six. And we know their one card is Elvish Fury. And we really don't want them to play Mother. I think we're just dead here. I don't like it. I don't like it. We can block with this. That doesn't... Yeah, I think it's funny that Kerwood and, and Taunus are probably both at Microsoft right now. Right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Eight mana. 
We can do a four and we can do a Crip Rat for one. That doesn't do anything at all. We can get Pondering Mage back and just Shut replay that, but then we'll probably money. just dead to these guys. One three hundredth of a ton of us. <laughs> I think I think all future donations uh, should be donated in the form of Tano in the uh, using the Tanos donation cur currency exchange rate, whatever that may be. Ugh, God, could have cycled this. I bet we hit a black, and then we could have killed everything on board. This is making this is so sad. The 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 Elvish Fury in hand is actually pretty problematic because they can probably just kill us next turn, right? They can Elvish Fury twice. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go to three. It's not good. I'm just gonna pass here and then birthing bows and activate Bastion, I guess. Like that feels like a thing we should do. Oh god. It's not ideal, guys. Thomas, you are unbelievable, dude. I broke our build today with the bunk YAML. Oh boy, man. We're getting into engineering talk now. I can say that knowing others know what I'm saying in chat. Well, yes. Others in chat. <laughs> oh, look. This guy. Well, that's totally good. And by good, I mean bad. It's not ideal. Yep, that is a thing. Make this guy. Activate this thing. I don't know if we're dead yet. We're probably dead. I'm actually pretty impressed with the number of software developers in the chat right now. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, all right, sure. The problem is they still have their stupid Elvish Fury. So, like, even if we draw a Swamp now, they can save a guy, whereas they couldn't last turn. So, it's kind of problematic. And we did draw a Swamp, which is really ironic. So, they just... We actually kill ourselves, because, like, we deal four damage. We go to three. And then they just save one, dude. So, yep. That's all tech people do is watch Twitch all day. That's hilarious. I actually never knew that. I mean, I knew in the sense that like I get a lot of I know a lot of my my viewers are software developers. Shut up and take my money. One two hundred and forty-three point ninetieth of autonomous. <laughs> yeah, with a repeating with a repeating nine at the end there. That's a good amount. The Mike Arnold, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Man, you guys made this uh you guys made this draft where we lost a bunch of our picks, uh pretty pretty bearable so preach appreciate it was any card like not good for us i don't think so i think this guy's pretty good i think we just got blown up by mono four fours dot deck and elvish fury like i mean magic's hard guys Ocean man. All right, let us play first. Yeah, this is fine. Whatever. What do we got? One, two, three. Three snow permanents. Marital age would be four. Thomas, I'm, uh, I'm I'm appreciative to be your your in between test run uh, entertainment. I'll take it. Oh, 
Also, you asked me what I thought about uh, Modern Horizons, and I don't know if I answered, but I, I've been enjoying it. I'm going to get rid of this guy just because we don't necessarily have an answer to it in hand. So I don't really want to be like, well, I guess I'll just take three every turn for the rest of my life. And then we draw this guy. As long as you have no cards, sure. Sure. Um, I guess we can just attack with both, right? Uh, one and two. Thank you. Bob the Sheep, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, you solid, solid gentlemen. Have you heard about the death of Mono Red and Standard? No. Link it to me and I'll show it off on stream. Link me the death. This is where they play 5-5 five five and we're just like, well, this is awesome. Thank you. Oh, that's a good hit. Wonko, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Oh, do I just want this? Oh, yeah, we're definitely keeping this the way it is. Um, you, you, and then you. Nah, we'll keep it. Thank you. This is, I mean, this is cute. This is actually five snow permanents. That's a good amount, man. Swifty Gamers, thanks so much for the reset. Welcome back. Leyline of Sanctity in standard? Wow. What's the price on, what's the price on Leyline of Sanctity? Buy my book. Yep, that card's obnoxious. I don't think we have an answer for that. I guess we have Selimgar Scavenger. Oh, I guess we have the Winter's Rest that we literally put on top of our library. Um, let's play Slumber. Big old Slumby boy. Bottom. Uh, let's play Plains. Top that bad boy. Guys, we're living the dream. Uh, still keep that on top. I think we're still good. Bum 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 ba dum ba dum bum 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 bum. Buy my beard. Buy my funnel cake. There's some solid, uh, solid uh, Hearthstone memes that that we have here. You might say me malicious, maybe, maybe you might say that. You probably wouldn't. It's fine if you don't. Oh wow, I see. That's super aggressive, man. That's real aggressive, my dude. Two, three, four. Drawing three is pretty good. Let's discard. Well, we can discard Scavenger and just get it back at some point. Whereas, like, I like having the lands here. We can actually play Bastion. We can play Bastion, activate this one, and block. I kind of like that better than just playing Phantom Ninja here. Oh, uh, yeah, put that in on top. We are getting real close to Merit Lage. Which is pretty comical. I mean, what are the odds they have a uh, magmatic... Magmatic... Every creature they've played in this... In, in our entire... In our entire draft has had, like, four power. Well, Frank, they have two creatures in their graveyard that don't have uh, four power right now. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I guess you missed the subtle nuance of hyperbole, dear viewer. And that's fine. 
that is oh look it's a frosty root walla now they just reckless charge this guy for three and then it's a seven four attacker pretty 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 good and if their last card is elvish fury then it's just terrible for us This is fascinating. I will block, and if you if it's an Elvish Fury, you have to use it, so. Avid Fictionot. Just kill it. Kill that job interview. Are you gonna attack and then magmatic burst me? Whatever that card is? Magmatic sinkhole? Oh boy. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. I think we actually just have to block this dude. Let's add this and this. Activate this guy. Because this at least takes care of this guy next turn. And we are we are down a snow perm though. Uh we can play chiller pillar. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can take, play both of these, which is nice. But it doesn't really deal with this. I think I'd rather just get back Pondering Mage. But there's no... That's share a creature type. Uh, human Wizard. Zombie Bird, Zombie Goblin. Okay, well, that's sad. So let's play this. Like we can just double block here. They have no cards in hand. Yeah, it's actually fine. Chiller Pillar is a cool is one cool dude. If you know what I mean. You should. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can stay on top, Mobby Mobby Boy. Damn it, Mobby. <laughs> it's from uh You guys ever seen King of the Hill? It's uh It's like a redneck show. It's very good though. It's very good. It's good as far as uh I don't want to discriminate against rednecks. Is that the correct term? I don't even know if that's the correct term. You mean the best anime of all time? <laughs> What's your favorite anime? Uh, it's King of the Hill. It's very good. It's a very good show. Like, it's surprisingly good. Like, you kind of look at the, the premise of King of the Hill and you're like, this sounds ridiculous. But then it's like, actually very good. So we know they have access to this and whatever they drew this turn. I mean, in my in a perfect world, it's a land, right? I mean, they didn't reckless charge. They know we can double block, so we're just going to assume that this is a trade. And they didn't draw Elvish Fury. That's just the world I want to live in. It looks like it looks like we're living in that world. That's actually a good trade. And then we get the mob here, and this is pretty good. Hey, one, two, three, four, five, that's pretty good. We could just get two zombies back. Is getting so if we get two zombies back, this is a two for one, right? If we get a pondering mage back, we're get to draw a card, which is still kind of a two for one. I kinda wanna get this dude off the board though. I wish we had more than one insect in the graveyard, that'd be great. Thank you! Barnack, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm gonna mad head anyway. Why are you why? Why would you get that stuck in my head? I'm trying to figure it out, because that's like probably one of the cruelest things you can do to a friend. It's too bad the snowland doesn't have a, a creature type. These are both snow. Can I get those two back? Ooh. No, dude. Just stop it. That's literally why I did that. I also don't like them having reckless charge in their graveyard because it just means like, hey, I can play anything and reckless charge it. And then you look like a friggin' idiot. Oh, no. I don't want to look like an idiot. I'm just going to pass here with mob up. Oh, 
Oh god. How is that real? Welcome to the best thing you could have drawn. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, this is a base 4-3. This is a base 3-3. Three, three. It's just better to keep this on board, especially because we can... Uh, uh, so, 1, 2... Block here... No, typically 3-3 three, three elephants don't have trample. Alright, well, I think we're just pondering now. Pondering mage and what else? Nothing, I guess. I guess we'll just get... I think it's just pondering mage here. Thank you! I think it's probably better than other... It's... Pondering mage, you're still getting back two cards. You're getting pondering mage back and any card off the top of your library in the top three. And this is actually a pretty decent. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep these. You, then you, then you. Because next turn we can birthing vows and make a guy. They're going to make an elephant, but they are out of reckless charges. Dingus Egg, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the internet. We're running out of snow permanence because we've had to trade off these Frostwalk Bastions. Well, yeah, that's pretty good. We might be able to just kill you with that guy, though. <laughs> Maybe that guy just kills you on its own. One, two, three. Like, we get in there for two. We have two blockers. We can go block, block. Yeah, it seems all right. Just around the internet. If you have Elvish Fury, it's plus four, so we're actually at three, and then we die. But... You know, fingers crossed, I guess. Does Frank look like he's dubbing himself very poorly today? What does that mean? I don't get it. I bet you can refresh. If Have you guys refreshed? Yeah, you know, have a squirt, like you do. Can you link the new monitor you got? I'm looking to upgrade soon, and I'm curious to see what you got. Yeah. Oh, you're just going to kill my... That's fascinating. That is fascinating. It's on sale right now, guys. Okay, so we can actually take both of these and just chump block something. But I guess that's what we're going to do anyway, right? We, I guess we have to do that. Oh, that's obnoxious. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's very good then. I haven't fiction out. Good luck on your everybody. Can I use promo code Frank5 to save five on the monitor? Yeah, sure. I don't know if they'll accept it, but maybe. Okay, we're at one now, so we can't actually cast this. And we're probably dead. God, if we didn't have to block with Pondering Mage... We could definitely put them to one, and then this would kill them. Nope.
Wow, that would have comically done it. Attack for two. Oh no, it would have. We would have died. But no, actually, we could have went to their upkeep, and then we could have made it a draw. That's hilarious. Well, Magic's a hard game, unfortunately. I wish I knew how to get my match number so that I could uh, have my match number. So that would be cool. What does this do? Yield menu. All right, game details. Let me go over here to the, where's the help section now? Is this it? Game guide? Uh, report issue. Like I'm cracking up at the fact that I literally can't find my, my match number. Uh, sand is rough. I don't think we can keep triple five drop hand. This hand is probably better, yeah. What would you like to request a reimbursement? My email address, magic online username, event or match ID. Well, those don't exist anymore. Good old Hugaraka Raggog. Um, I will actually keep this because we can go turn two Merit Lady, just slumber into turn three Ninja and Scry, which seems pretty good. Then turn four Scry. Uh, do I want to keep this? Probably. Next turn we can play a guy. Next turn we cannot play a guy. 2-3. As long as you've drawn two or more cards, that dude gets a double strike. Um, I'm going to bottom that thing. Which means we're just going to draw land, unfortunately. Do you think it's going to have a positive effect? It already has had a positive effect on Modern. I actually wrote an article about this. You guys can check it out on CoolStuffInc.com. I wrote it last week uh, on Wednesday about all the impacts that it had on Modern. There's been like at least 10 cards in the very first event, in the very first Modern event, which is a pretty, pretty sizable number of cards. Yep, keep that on top. I'm checking out those monitors you linked. Oh, those seem nice. Twenty-five sixty by sixteen hundred. Ooh, that is nice. Get that little extra vertical space. So we can defile one of these guys. Doesn't seem great though. I guess we can block defile. Does that seem better? I don't know. I don't think we're winning this race though. So. I mean, I feel like if you can get any of the good ninjas, like, this deck is actually pretty sweet, but we actually saw, like, none of them. And that was my biggest, uh, my biggest interest in drafting this archetype. Just around the Alpine Guide. Yeah, this is never resolving, obviously. Sure. Sweet two for one. 
sweet two for one. Bottom that guy. Connie, congrats, man. That's awesome. That is an insane change, dude. Yeah, all right, sure. You got it. This is not a snow horror. That's unfortunate. That's just a regular island. That's unfortunate too. They have five, six cards in hand, huh? And we have two cards in hand, and they have nine more life. Boy, they're they're winning on all the metrics right now. Yep, that's a four damage in the air. Man, we should have just waited with the defile. Am I right? We should have just taken the four damage. I guess. Well, that's Sliverino. Shut up and take my money. Honey Sugar, it's been a, it's been a long day. Just want to address the magic. I'm not really sure how much this is because my phone's been working funny ever since I got to Canada. <laughs> Travis, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it as always. Hope you're enjoying Canada. It's our neighbor to the north. Are you going to counter this Dregscape Sliver? Oh, you're in Factor Fiction. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Island, island. This thing. Yeah, you can have this bird and this Minotaur, I guess. So now you cycle the bird. Deal another four, we go to three. Yeah, our deck doesn't seem very good. I thought it was good, but I, I guess it's just not very good. I didn't realize until now there's other languages beyond English. That's There's no way that's a real thing. There's no way that's a real thing. This is interesting that you're going to let me block when I'm at 7. Seems good. So we can either get a Sliver or a Phantom Ninja. Neither one of which is very good. I guess we're going to pass and hope for the... Oh, well, don't they just kill us? No, I guess not yet, but yeah, it's real close. I mean, I wouldn't even say this is a bad component. Like, it's one card, but it gives us like a bunch of scries, so I'm not really convinced that this is like a like a bad choice here Esperanto it's the first time in my life I've been in a country where English is in the primary language and I feel awkward yeah I can understand that won't you come back to your senses something good that's hor that's that's terrible. Uh, we can actually flash this guy and then Chiller Pillar, but we know they have Aven guys, so they just deal us four. This would cost us five. We'd go to we go to six.
Oh, they just make this guy fly, and then we just have to chump block. Like, all, our, all we're doing is chump blocking. Our deck is really good at chump blocking. We have no bombs. Our threats aren't very consistent. Yeah, our deck is not great. Which makes me sad. Speaking of great things, our MCQ ran smoothly, had a wonderful time, and I was given a great review for judging. Guess that means we're taking a huge break from Paper Magic for a bit and doing some judge travel. Well, that's still Paper Magic, though, right? Why? Wow, you're just, just this guy. That's weird that you're not using this Aven yet. I mean, we're definitely not going to three here, because if we go to three, this guy just kills us. Or both of them kills us. I just got a song stuck in your head by talking about a language. My power grows. Crypt Rats one time. Mm, that's not a Crypt Rats, unfortunately. But, one, two, three, four, it does give us two gentlemen. Which is pretty okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, if they just counted this, then cool. Cool story. We don't have any of the good uncommons that like that like change games. Like we're and we're like getting things back with Grave Shifter that that are pretty terrible to begin with. So yeah, I don't know. This deck seemed alright, but I guess I don't think it's actually that good. Oh, he might have actually... Yeah, they might have used the Aven. Touche. Guys, you still have a bunch of Modern Horizons packs we can open. Alright, well. Three five drops in hand. Let's hope for land drops. Oh, we got, a, we got this guy. That's our little art card. Anyway. We got Snow Cover Mountain. And a Cloud Shredder Sliver. Wow, I didn't even know that was rare. That's terrible. I guess it's not that bad. And then we got a uh, Dreg Escape Sliver, a Soul Herder, and a Firebolt, guys. Come on. There we go. Oh, red, white, sliver, splashing green for Aula's influence. Well, you have to open those things, though, right? They don't just give them to you. Okay, well, we were hoping for a land. We did not find one. You know, guys, we'll just keep on hoping. We also found a, uh, a card that is not very good without any snow permanence, which we have none of. So that was basically a blank. We might as well draw a card with no text on it, like, a, like just an erased, uh, an artist-proof card. Like the back of an artist-proof card, I guess. Yeah, it must be nice. Having five drops and being able to play them, that seems like a sweet deal. I want to be like you. Look at me. Thank I am the art card now. Spencer, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome to the... Jesus. Literally nothing to play here. Absolutely nothing to play. Oh boy, this is going well. Yep.
I mean, if we had Grave, Grave Shifter, we could have gotten back the Venomous Changeling. We could have double blocked here. I mean, they would have killed one of them, sure, but like it's it still keeps us alive, keeps us doing things. Oh, we hit a land. That's pretty nice. I guess. I have six cards in hand. Ugh, this format's so weird. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, nothing. Okay, let's see if this works. What are the odds this does a thing? Oh, zero per... What? That's a good trade. Who, who saw that coming? Um, hmm. Well. Would a, would a, a land would have been nice because then we get to play uh, Venomous Changeling and Winter's Rest, but I guess we'll just play this. I really don't want to take another four in the air. If you were a changeling, what would you look like? Just got on. Saw so it was turn five and we had three lands. Must be the right channel. You are correct. Turn seven, actually, when we have four lands. So similar. Oh, look, they just didn't play anything. Yeah, turn eight, four lands. Kick ass. Kicking... Make sure you exclude this guy. Yep. Oh, prohibit. It's also good. Very, very good. Uh, if you were a changeling, what would I look? What's the most barren, uh, landless changeling that exists? The one that the the chain. What's the changeling that can't draw any fucking lands because they, uh, they just don't. They just don't. I don't know which which one is that. Is that a changeling? Oh, look at that! Now we're doing it. I'm sure this guy's not going to get excluded. I, I'm actually surprised. I'm going to keep all of these. <laughs> so six mana next turn. We can play this, and that's it. So we're probably just going to play five drops. Either way, I don't want to hit a land drop. So uh, let's go. This guy. This guy. This guy. Nope. Just going to keep it. And I'm sure this guy's just going to get like magmatic sinkhole or something. But you know. I got the pessimism. I got a, I got a, I got a spell of the pessimism right now, guys. I see. Well, this is an aggressive attack, I guess. I'll block the creature that I can actually get off the board. I'm sure it's not gonna end well. Yep, taking five, going to three. And I'm sure you're just going to kill me. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you? Fun games. I've had a good time so far. Maybe it's time to give up magic and just play burn one mana spells. Then you can play magic by turn 10. Yeah, well, I'd probably still, I'd probably just flood. I haven't won a game yet. We have not won a single game. Thank you. With this absolute trash fest of a deck. Goalie, thank you so much for the subs, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Oh, the pity subs. Oh, God. Like, is this deck really that bad? Ponder Mage, Ponder Mage, Mob, Scavenger. Six Thank drops, two you. six drops, two Chiller Pillars, a Reign of Revelation, a Grave Shifter. Those all seem fine. A Ninja, a Crypt Rats, a Changeling. Thank Headless you. Spectre is kind of meh. Birthing Bows, I guess it's all right. I don't know. Return seems fine. Goblin. Dregs. Our two drops are a Thank little you. bad, but we do a Prohibit Winter's Rest, which I think are fine, too. I don't actually feel like this deck is that terrible, but I guess it's not great. I don't know. I'm very open to the fact that it might be terrible. But. Goalie, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. Really appreciate your support. Even though I have to crush you so frequently in vintage cube drafts. Oh, no, just kidding. Um, do I just keep it because it has two lands? No. 
Because then that dude in the chat's like, do you always keep heads where you don't have any playable cards? That guy comes back, and then I just have to... Then I just have to feel bad about my life choices, I guess. Do you often... Uh... It's weird, we haven't played each other on anything over a month. I'll send Wizards a cook. Yeah, she'd be like, uh, I'd like to report a bug. We have not gotten paired against each other since the Vintage Cube, so... Uh, if you guys can work on that. I don't know, it's probably on your end, so... This guy is scouring all possibilities right now. Oh yeah, two lands. We're at our we're at our, our we're at our peak here, guys. We are we are firing on all Frank cylinders at this point. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my God! What a time to be alive. Scour all possibilities missed. Uh, you're not really scouring all possibilities. You're scouring two, maybe three. If you put both on the bottom. Oh my god, are they going to do something? Oh no. What, is this? what does this one do? It's a two, three, right? That moment when you don't have any cool ninjas, so you just assume your opponent doesn't either. I was indeed punished. Magic is hard. Chiller Pillar blocks if they have a counterspell or removal is pretty awkward. I'd rather just defile this guy. And then keep up prohibit. They have seven cards in hand. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I just can't. Shut up and take my money. Five rough day bucks plus either a stiff or a critique in the queue. I'll decide it later. Josh, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Sounds good. Sounds good. You are awesome, my dude. I like I like being able to just keep running this this sliver into their into their ninjas and not feeling bad about it. That's okay. Well, now we're gonna pondering mage. I'm gonna marry her anyway. Marry that girl. Uh, yeah, I think we keep all these. That can go on the top, then this guy, then this guy. Yeah, this is fine. We have a bunch of gas, so maybe we're actually doing okay here. I don't know. Yeah, cycle that Baron more. I didn't even see you cycle this Windhaven.
Nice. You married like, oh my God, Rob, I hate you, dude. <laughs> Rob, when are, when, are, when are we getting together this week, my dude? When are you joining in? I'm going to ninjutsu another dude. I have all the ninjas and your your blue black deck sucks and mine is good because I have all the ninjas. Oh my god. Why are you the way that you are? I hate everything about the way you choose to be. Oh, but I will open another Modern Horizons pack. That'll make me feel better about my life choices. This format's usually fine. I feel like we're just our deck is not where it wants to be. Oh, we got a rhino and a zombie. It's not super exciting, but that's okay. Not everything can be. Oh, look at that. We got Umazawa's Charm here. Hey, guys. Hey, go you want you guys want to watch the Umazawa stream? Oh, hi. Hello? That's pretty weird, right? And then what do we got here? Uh, it's a swamp. And then what do we got here? That's... Is that Merit Lake? I don't know. On, on Thin Ice? Why is that a rare? That, that rare is hot trash. His voice doesn't sound like I imagined. Yeah, it's... that's They, they pulled an old fast one on you with that. If Charm said choose up to one or three, I'd be like, wow, this card's busted. But it doesn't say that. Do we just Gargantua? Like, we go to 14. Yeah, they don't have a lot of damage on board. I think this is fine. Yeah, I remember my favorite part of the streaming with Rob is whenever I'm like, yeah, but it does this. And he's like, oh, I didn't know it did that. It's that, it's that moment of revelation where he just realizes what the card does. It's always good for a laugh. What does as soon as I can mean? Like, when does that mean? When, that doesn't help me plan anything. Or you. That helps no one. Not one person is helped by as soon as I can. If you read my message earlier, you would know. Did you send me a message? Are you talking about, like, in the chat? Buddy, probably a day next week, but because... Didn't you say this week? I thought you said this week. Now it's next week? It's only Monday. This is unbelievable. This friendship is dead. I can't even... Ugh. God, it makes me laugh. Ugh. Blech. Oh, you got two of these guys. That's fantastic. What's better than having one of them? Clearly having two. Why wouldn't you replay the... Interesting. I would have probably replayed the 2-2 two -two instead of the 1-1. One -one. The We'd get a Rob emoji as soon as I can remember. I just thought of what I want to use this for. You can only draft a card if Rob can tell you what the card does. Oh my god. How would he know? He would never know. I guess we just alpha here, and we feel okay about it. Do they double block the Gargantua? Probably. They go to two here? Oh, they're not... Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, biscuits. I guess we can just play Chiller Pillar. Keep up Prohibit. And the next time we got Gargantua coming back down.
Guess we should have kept two blue up, ladies and gentlemen. God, I hate Rob. Unbelievable. Why is this in my head now? I'm gonna marry her anyway. Thank you. Beaston, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome. Oh my god, please stop ninja sing. Uh, this is how many ninjas? This is at least four friggin' ninjas, and I have a zero. I was firmly in blue black in, in pack one. Don't don't you Coco Jambo up in here. We don't need to be Coco Jambo in. <laughs> you guys are literal monsters. Frank's deck's not working out and he's having a real bad time. Let's let's get all the worst songs we can possibly think of in his head. Jesus. Excellent. Something, something dark side. Well, we're just going to attack with this guy. And if they don't block, then they're dead to it next turn. But if they do block, we can just pump it and two for one them. So. Also, you guys could check out manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service that lets you borrow Magic Online digital cards or physical Shut paper up, cards, either one. So definitely check manatraders.com out. You'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and the promo code in my description below. So definitely check that out. One, two, three... All right. Well, this is where we're this is where we're going with here. <laughs> do they do arena cards as well? No, because it's impossible to borrow arena cards from anyone. There is no trading system in arena. Pernicious dude, one terabyte. I've upgraded my hard drive. Bug. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Jesus. Oh, God. I'm pretty sure you guys are all funnier than I am. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, you just haven't caught on yet. Once you figure it out, though, you'll be like, hey, we should stream. And then he can watch us. You just wait. One, two, one, two, three, four. If we get one more in, we can return to, from extinction this pondering mage. Boy, they're really, they're really filling the board here. Well, that guy's pretty good. The problem with Chiller Pillar here is that it can just be blocked by Pondering Mage, unfortunately. I think we actually just try to win in the two turns. I mean, they're going to block with this flyer boy. And then we have three blockers, so we can go one, two, three. We'll take... We're definitely taking two, and this guy's going to be gone. So they're going to have four attackers. One of them is a zero. So we're just going to have to block Pondering Mage, Old Smoky Boy, and uh, Infiltrate Tario. All right, they're dead to this on board. So that means they probably have an answer or a blocker. 
That's my theory. This is a pretty easy block. Either kill the Earth guy or the Persist guy. Either of which are fine. All right, Chiller Pillar en route. Don't kill my chiller pillar. Okay, they're digging. This is a good this is a good sign. Barnack, take it easy, buddy. Okay. Five manus. Just don't have an answer, that's all. That's not an answer. Is this an answer? It's gotta be, right? Yep, there you go. Oh, never don't have it. <laughs> Our stream baby is the size of an Anaheim an Anaheim pepper. Is that a thing? Is that a is that a little one two three four one two we have three, so we can actually play ninja and chiller pillar here. These guys having menace is pretty brutal right right at this particular juncture. So they can just attack. If they play any creature, they attack with all three of these. Like, this is just terrible for us. I don't actually know how our deck is performing this poorly. I guess we just have to survive one more turn, right? <laughs> Famous last words. All right, let's do it. Don't play a creature with two power. Do not do it. Go straight to combat. Attack us for two. Pass the turn with nothing. Oh, all right. Well, wow, that worked. I didn't think that would work. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Uh, no, you're gonna go here. You're gonna go here. You're gonna go here. And then I guess we're taking one, two, three, four, because I mean we have to block this. We can't block this, and like there's no real purpose to blocking these. So. I guess that's how we're gonna do it, and then they're gonna flash in something here, like a, yep, like a creature that we can't fucking deal with. This is unbelievable. Like this is actually the worst, the worst Modern Horizons draft I've ever done. This is unbelievable. I, I mean, I didn't expect them to have nineteen ninjas. This is just unbearable. My God. Thank you. My God. Big money grip. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, my man. Thank you. What is going on here? Manote? What are you doing? This is just I mean, this is just one draft. Like like it's not a huge it's not a huge deal. Oh, are we, am I giving a modern masters pack here? Sweet. Thank, Thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Well, if we two owed here, if we two won here, that would definitely uh Thank you contribute to this to this hot mess of a thank you dude really appreciate it you are awesome where's our match here we go all right we submitted our sideboard's not even that great like i don't know this is a failed i mean i wouldn't even say it was an experiment like we weren't like let's try blue black and see if it works it's more like it just didn't we didn't get any of the the, the good components to the deck so i am gonna open this pack now oh that seems spicy it is a foil elemental token i hold on the other Put that up so you guys can you can see right through him he's really transparent yeah why can't you like focus i guess it's too much to ask for we got a little little wart eye witch here that's uh just beautiful 
by one Steve by one Stephen Prescott. You guys will never be able to see these though, because unfortunately, well, like right, it's like literally. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we did it. Ooh, got a mom here. Giver of runes. That's a solid rare. And then we got Baron Moore, Zalfiran Decoy, and Shatter Assumptions as our as our uncommons. Not too shabby. See, that one is actually not too shabby. Sometimes you just say it after the end of any pack. You're just like, oh, it's pretty good. All right, not too bad. But then you're like, but it wasn't that great. But either way, you guys are awesome. And after this game, presuming I lose, I have to be like, hey, are we going to get some food? I have to go talk to my parents because it's like 4 p.m. And they like they want to go to dinner at like 4.30, so... Oh, also, are you losing because of your lack of red? Yeah, probably. Probably. Red seems very good in this format, so. That does not seem entirely out of the question, my friend. I've not played Paper Well. Are the new Full Arc actually playable? No, they're not playable. They're just, uh, just an extra little... Just an extra little... A little perk for the for the pack a perk for the pack as they say this is gonna be real awkward for like for reporting um for like refund submissions right like you can't whereas like you just can't find the event number like is it it's not hidden somewhere right like there's no there's no point of information that i could that i could be looking in and being like oh here it is i found it <sighs> we talked about that it's in the account oh, i missed it i'm sorry i'm playing magic the fucking gathering man take it easy <laughs> take it easy mediocre magic man it's in the account settings but where is that these are my settings. Game history. And then I gotta scroll all the way down. Oh wow, that's so now I can go. I guess it was this one. Okay. Wow, that's that's harder than it used to be. I mean it's still event number. Uh two one eight eight three four four one five. Okay, cool. Alright. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for the help there. Thank you for the help. I was, I was, I didn't want to, I didn't want to join a queue. Why would you make me do that? I cannot believe you've done that. This is, this is the position I'm in where I just want to kill this thing so they can't ninjutsu anything. What is the, uh, what is the two, three that draws you cards cost? What does that guy cost to ninjutsu? Probably like a thousand. I think it's 1000 mana yeah blue black okay good see yeah i'm glad i killed that then because they have two of those so that's insane mm -hmm. interesting i feel like if they had one they would have attacked with this and then played it to draw the card I mean, it isn't uncommon, but they have two of them, so. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll just keep prohibit up, I guess. Doesn't do much. I mean, we're playing like prohibit against the uh, the ninjutsu deck, which is kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, UB forty. Yeah, a little, uh, little red, 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 red wine. Oh, they didn't do anything. This is very fascinating. Come on. Don't exclude me. Oh, 
Oh, I just also something else I got hooked on was the fact that Frank pays attention and gives everyone his undivided attention, whether you're able to contribute financially or not. Frank shows no bias in that mental. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you saying so. I will definitely keep these. Uh, we'll go this last, then you, then you. Yeah, that's fine. Really glad to hear it. Really glad to hear it. That means a lot that that's uh that's important to to you guys and like that you noticed because I do try to do that. Oh, you're just gonna. You're just gonna mob that guy. I understand. I mean, I, I would say I actually pay attention to the chat, like, uh, to my detriment, right? Like, wow, sweet slugs. All right, so we play this. We could play Chiller Pull and keep Prohibit up. That's probably better. He ignores us all the same. <laughs> he lets us fend for ourselves. <laughs> he pays such a because he has big money grip. He's playing the long game. I'm like, big money grip, huh? All right, I'm listening. I'm listening. Watch, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up winning this game and I'm gonna be late to get food with my, with my parents. Oh no, that card's obnoxious. Whatever, we're just getting in there. Now you have UB40 stuck in my head. Wow, Thanos. Wow. This is Thanos' gift. He comes in the chat, he resubs, he donates a shit ton, and then he gets a song stuck in your head. And he adds a quote. Oh my god. I might have to move this now because the monitor is different. Well, biscuits. Can't block, can't block, can't block, can't block. I guess we're just taking eight. That's pretty gross. One, two, three, four, five. What is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not exactly what we're looking for. Yes, Taunus is actually the best. He is a super generous, caring, philanthropic dude. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy. All right, well, moment of truth. We have to chump block that guy or else we're dead to the other things. I guess we could chump block one of these guys and then they take six, seven, eight and go to one. I think we're just dead. I think we're literally going to lose this draft without winning a game, and it's going to be breathtaking. Like Keanu Reeves at E3. Yikes. Well, they have a ninja here, right? So four cards, they have to have one ninja, so we're just going to take four damage from whatever we don't block. So I feel like this is probably where we're going to be. Yep. Seems good. I've watched other NGGO channels, some more than others, and it blows my mind how many of them Taunus is in. Is the all-time lead donation person for incredibly good. Yeah, he's just an insanely generous dude. Sharing is caring when it comes to Taunus. 
So we're taking six here, and you're drawing a card? Sure. So we could sack this guy. Like, if, we, if they just have one play, and we get to counter it, then maybe we pull... Nope, we can't counter anymore. All right. Well, that was unfortunate. That will counter. Sure. So close, guys. So close. Still so close. One, two, three, four. Activate. Nope. Don't don't have it. Wow, that's insane. I can't believe how badly this draft went. Like, we can actually sack a thing. Five, six, seven, eight. We can deal them eight right now. We could play this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Sack this. Deal them five, six, seven, eight again. And then winter's rest this guy like none of these things do anything we actually have to have one two for the for the winter's chill one two for activation and then we'd have if we had one more land we could win because we could go winter's rest this guy activate the bastion scavenger sacrifice this guy attack for five six seven eight nine ten but we are one no actually we need one we need two more mana because we'd have to tap this to attack with it yeah so yeah, that's, uh, magic's a hell of a game. Oh, six. I mean, I ain't even mad. It's just an insanely, uh, that was an insanely weird draft. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on manatraders.com, meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, uh, coolstuffinc.com. Use promo code Frank5. You can check out all those links, and the links and the promo codes are in the description below. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.